Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Welcome again guys. Welcome to another video lecture by Kami Biology. So in the previous video lecture, if you guys remember, we talked about the introduction and we also talked about a little bit uh, this, the way of the screening, different techniques or different ways through which we can perform the screening process. Okay. In this video lecture, we are going to talk about uh, the first screening technique, uh, which we call that uh, Kalumi hybridization. Okay. So let me erase this one portion and let me start. So now what is Kalumi hybridization or screening of genetic library in Kalumi hybridization? Now to explain the Kalumi hybridization uh, screening technique. So first of all, we need to understand that uh, what is screening as I already explained that screening is that technique in which we can identify the bacterial cell among the uh, in a bacterial cell inside a colony having our gene or uh, which can carry the target DNA having our gene of interest. Okay. And what is genetic library? Genetic library, uh, as the name indicate library, so it is a kind of, you know, back, so we have different cells of the bacteria, means a colony of a bacterial cell in a petri plate, which can carry different kinds of genes. This is called genetic library. And what is colony hybridization? So it is a technique in which we can make a complementary DNA or complementary RNA having the radioactive substance which are complementary to our uh, vector okay having our target DNA so this is called colony hybridization now how we can screen our genetic library through a colony hybridization technique it involves different kinds of stages so in the first stage what actually we are going to do the first stage is preparation of the master plate. Okay. Second is formation of second is formation of replica over the nitrocellulose filter paper. So let me rise. Okay. The third step is the third stage is the treatment of this replica a treatment of this nitrocellulose filter paper with SDS solution. Fourth is fixation of a recombinant DNA vector on nitrocellulose filter paper. Then fifth we have addition of radioactive probe, addition of radio Sixth, we have washing and auto radiography. Washing and auto. Last, we have comparison. Comparison. Okay. These are the seven stages or these are the seven steps which are involved in the screening of genetic library by colony hybridization. Now let explain each steps through a diagrammatic uh, uh, with the help of diagram. So first of all what actually we have we, we should prepare the master plate. Now how can we prepare the master plate? We have a bacterial cell suspension which is present in a test tube as you can see. Test tube having bacterial cell suspension okay remember in this case we have different kinds of bacterial cell in a suspension form some of them bacterial cell carry our recombinant DNA vector 
and some of them don't carry but we don't know that which kind of bacterial cell can carry uh, the recombinant uh, uh, dna vector so we you know loaded the bacterial cell onto the agar plate neutron agar plate so we can prepare a neutron agar plate now we loaded or we can pour the bacterial cell suspension on the neutron agar plate then we incubate this plate for the 24 hour 24 hour incubation incubation now after that after 24 hour what actually we can check we check different kinds of colony so these are the colonies which are formed after 24 hour incubation okay this is the neutron agar plate let me write inside neutron agar plate okay now these are the colony some of them colony have those kind of bacteria which can carry our target dna having the gene of interest and some of the bacteria cell don't carry but which kind of colony having such bacteria which have our target dna okay we don't know so once we get the colony on a petri plate then this is called as a master plate then this is called what this is called the master plate so this is the first step that we should prepare the master plate okay now after that what actually we are going to do we uh, there will be a nitrocellulose filter paper nitrocellulose filter paper are usually used for the replica okay replica is uh, actually the copy of the cell which we take from the petri plate okay now we should cover or we should you know compress the filter paper nitrocellulose filter paper over the surface of this uh, neutron agar plate so just like that then with this nylon filter paper we get a replica of each colony so this is let's suppose the nylon filter paper now this nylon filter paper carry this exact colony which are present on the master plate so these are the exact colony as you can see okay so this is the formation of replica over the nylon filter paper now after that we should treat this nylon filter paper with sds solution sds means sodium dodecyl sulfate solution it is just like a detergent okay so after that as you can see so let's suppose this is this is the sds solution now once we loaded or once we put this filter paper onto the sds solution after few minute for a few minute then what actually happen during this stage during this stage the bacterial cells rupture or the membrane or the bacterial cell membrane are rupture and all the you know uh, not all but means uh, the genetic material of the bacterial cell will be released out so we get a colony just like in this shape on a nylon filter paper we get the colony like in this shape now this colony shows that all the bacterial cells are ruptured and now these colony cells can contain the recombinant uh, recombinant dna vector and some of them can contain just the vector which don't have the target dna okay and all these uh, are look like in this form as i draw now after that we should fix this all these colony which are uh, you know treated with sds space all these colony are uh, not fixed 
वी शुड फिक्स इट ऑन अ नाइलॉन फिल्टर पेपर सो आफ्टर दैट वी शुड पुट दिस नाइलॉन फिल्टर पेपर ऑन एटी सेंटीग्रेड टेम्परेचर ऑन डेट सर्फिस डेट कैन कॉन्टेन एटी सेंटीग्रेड टेम्परेचर और वी एक्सपोज दिस नाइलॉन फिल्टर पेपर विद यू वी लाइट लाइट ड्यू टू दिस वे एनी वन ऑफ दैम once we perform this technique means once we perform fixation of this recombinant dna on nylon filter paper by putting this filter paper on a solid uh, you know surface having temperature 80 centigrade or once we expose this nylon filter paper th- through uv light then all the colony will be fixed completely fixed on the filter paper okay after that what we are going to do we will provide the radioactive probes now after that what actually we are going to do this filter paper as you can see having the replicas okay and we added the probes now once we loaded radioactive probes then what actually happen let's assume any one of the colony suppose we you know uh, just assume this one colony let's suppose so let's suppose this is the colony and all of you better know that once we you know loaded this nylon filter paper on to the sds face then not only the cell membrane are ruptured the dna the double stranded dna or the vector which is the double strand it is also you know converted into a single strand so double strand dna will be converted into a single strand dna so one of the strand will be separated so inside one of uh, each uh, colony uh, let's suppose we take this one colony and inside each colony there is the rna uh, means single stranded dna so this is what this is the single stranded dna but we don't know this single stranded dna having our vector or uh, means having our gene of interest or not so let's suppose this is our gene of interest or recombinant uh, so this is the recomb- but we don't know okay we have some other also so these are some other as well so these are some other as well so some of them have the some of them have those vector or some of them have those vector having our target dna and some of them have those vector which don't carry the target dna but we don't know which kind of uh, means colony having the uh, same properties that i explained then after that we loaded radioactive probes radioactive probes is also a uh, dna or rna sequences having a radioactive substance so again let's suppose this green one represent this is the radioactive substance uh, this is the radioactive probes so in this case they have what they have just like that radioactive this is the radioactive substance or uh, iodine which can you know provide the signal in a form of color or fluorescence this may be this probe may be a dna or rna sequences which is complementary to that sequences you know we should know our recombinant dna vector sequences we should know the sequence of our recombinant dna vector why once we know the sequence of our recombinant dna vector then we can easily synthesize the probe according to the recombinant dna vector so we should know the sequences by this way we can also prepare the complementary sequences of that recombinant dna vector which is called as probe now we loaded the probe here so after that compli- uh, so after that you know this probe will make a complementary with any one of them let's suppose the probe will make a complementary with this vector as you can see and it will also having the radioactive element
okay and the rest of the uh, let's suppose this is not only one we have the recombinant we have different many of the recombinant dna vector but here i just draw one just for your understanding and there are many of other you know uh, non recombinant dna vector as well okay now once we get the complementary of each cell then what actually we are going to do this is called addition of radioactive probe okay then in the next stage we should wash this nylon filter paper so we should wash it washing stage due to this washing stage all the unbounded probes will be removed and all the un uh, usually all unbounded probes will be removed and just bounded probe will be you know attached so this is how we can perform the washing stage and after that we can perform auto radiography then we will put this nylon filter paper over the x ray film so this is let's suppose the nylon filter paper so let's suppose this black one present x ray film this is what x ray film due to this x ray film what actually happen they will you know catch all the cells on this uh, film or on this paper on this film so after that on this film we have what we have all the cells okay now with the help of this x ray film when we you know loaded this uh, nylon filter paper on to the x ray film then on the x ray film what actually we detected we detected any one of them called we detected that one of the colony have a very dark color as you can see so when a colony have a very dark color due to this x ray film then we compare then the last this is called auto radiography this is this technique is called auto radiography while this colony is called is auto radiogram auto radiogram now once we get auto radiogram so this auto radiogram can show that this kinds of colony have all those bacterial cell which can carry the recombinant dna vector means those vector which have your target dna having the gene of interest then we will you know uh, separate this filter we will just uh, take out this uh, x ray film and we will compare this x ray film with our master plate okay so this is our master plate now this uh, this one is our master plate so then we will compare this x ray film with the master plate and we will check this which one colony have the dark color so let's suppose this one colony have dark darkness or which we call it auto radiogram so we will check this colony don't have auto radiogram activity they don't have they don't have they don't have but this one colony have the auto radiogram auto radiogram due to this way we are make sure that this colony have what this colony have all those bacterial cell which can carry the target dna which can carry the recombinant dna vector having the target dna okay so this is how the screening of genetic library by colony hybridization i hope you get idea about the colony hybridization but if still you have any kind of question you can write it into a comment inshallah i will give you answer as soon as possible inshallah in the next video lecture we are going to talk about screening of cdna library by oligonucleotide probe okay so thank you so much for watching this video